Good morning, everybody. I am Mrs. Elra Umi Glasgow, and I am the coordinator for the Economics, Trade, and Finance program. Before we begin, let me just tell, take you through what we mean by economics, trade, and finance, since uh, some persons might not be uh, aware. Economics is the study of how scarce resources are combined to meet the needs of people in a society of unlimited wants. Okay, so in any society, we have different resources. If you look in your neighborhood, you might have you might see a plot of land that is not being used. Some persons in the neighborhood might say, well, hey, that piece of land might make a very good football field. Another another section of the community might say it's perfect for housing. We need more houses. Another grouping might say it's perfect for agriculture. We need food security in St. Lucia. So for the resources that we have in any country, I'll, I'll talk about St. Lucia, these resources are limited, okay? But our wants, our needs are unlimited. So we need to make decisions. A choice must be made. Should we use it for agriculture? Should we use it for housing? Should we build a daycare? So economics is all about the study of scarce resources, be it land, labor, capital, and enterprise, and how we can use those scarce resources to satisfy all of our unlimited wants and needs. Trade, you are all familiar with trade, right? International trade involves the exchange of goods and services across international boundaries, okay? We are all familiar with exports and imports in this program. We will delve into that. Finance. Finance is the management of money. It includes many activities associated with banking, investments, budgeting, securities markets, financial institutions, and financial management. So there you have it, economics, trade, and finance. Now, why should you pursue an associate degree in economics, trade, and finance? Well, just from the, the name alone, you could already think of possible places where you could find employment, possible fields. So one major benefit is that it will provide you with skills that will make you more employable. Now, the training will develop your analytical processes, critical thinking skills, problem solving techniques and communication proficiency. You will be capable of analyzing what is happening in the economy around you. So when you listen to, to the radio, when you listen to the television, when you look at the news, you'll be able to relate what we have discussed in the class with the topics and the issues that are being discussed out in the public not only in St. Lucia, but in the region and on a global scale. It will also provide you with a foundation for further study. So that is key, you're getting a foundation in economics, in trade, in finance, you can branch off from there and develop and build on that foundation. Program overview. This associate degree examines microeconomic variables such as the behavior of consumers and firms, and macroeconomic variables such as inflation, economic growth, international trade, and unemployment. So the issues that we will discuss, the topics, they are very, you can relate to them. <laughs> Emphasis will be placed on the work of Caribbean theorists and issues such as economic integration and the socioeconomic problems of the region will be discussed. You will be introduced to financial markets, the analysis of financial statements, and business-related statistics. Entry requirements for this program passes in at least five subjects at CSEC general proficiency level, including English A and mathematics, you need at least grades one, two, or three. Now, it is not necessary to have economics to pursue this program, okay? Because in year one, we give you a foundation. So even if you have never done economics before, you are welcome to join because we will do the foundational work in year one with you. Program structure. 
I have a little um, overview of the program structure here for year one and year two, where there are some general education courses that you must pursue. They are critical reading and writing, algebra essential, so that is your mathematics course, humans and the environment, it's a natural science course that you must um, do. A, a survey of St. Lucian history and heritage, modern language, speech, self, and society. So these are your general education courses for year one. But the program courses link directly to economics, trade, and finance. So for year one, we will do the introduction to microeconomics, introduction to macroeconomics, and we will delve into the Caribbean economy. There will be one elective, principles of financial accounting. So these are your courses for year one. You will do five in semester one and the other five in semester two. In year two, we have the place of the arts in the Caribbean economy, that is a humanities course. Ethics and moral behavior, so important today. And for your program courses, Introduction to Finance, Intermediate Microeconomics, Intermediate Macroeconomics, Global Economics. In that course, we will look at international trade. We will look at exchange rates and balance of payments. You have a practicum that I will talk about um, later on. Statistical application, and there will be a level two course. That course might be, it will, either be something linked to e-commerce or a level two finance course. You will also have a choice of um, two electives. So for the electives, these are just courses that are not listed here that you are interested in. So they could be courses from the natural sciences or from humanities. Once um, it can fit into your timetable and you have an interest, you are welcome to pick two courses as your electives. So now I'm just going to zero in on year one. So in semester one, you have critical reading and writing. That is your COM course, okay? And you have the introductory courses to economics. And semester two, you have your history. For the modern language, you will choose between French or Spanish. You have speech, self, and society, the Caribbean economy, and your principles of financial accounting course. So that is the structure of year one. During the delivery of the program, we will have some guest speakers. In the past, we invited persons from the central bank. We have invited persons from the Ministry of Finance. So at least they can talk about their field. So as you, as you do the theory, you can engage with resource persons who can tell you what their jobs are like and what it is like in practice, okay? You also have a research project to undertake. In your final semester in year two, you would have your practicum. So after gaining the knowledge in economics, the knowledge in finance, the knowledge in trade, you get to pick a particular topic, a particular area of interest that you could do some research on. And in pursuing your research project, you will have to make contact with certain resource persons. Maybe you need some, some help from persons in the ministry. So at least in undertaking the project, you will be forming links with persons out there in different industries who potentially might be able to um, put in a good word for you or even offer you some employment in the end, yes? <laughs> Career prospects. Well, just from the program's name, economics, trade, and finance, you could already think of the areas that you could pursue career-wise. Banker, I just put a, a, a little list here, banker research analyst, business forecaster, teacher, and economist, a credit officer, and there are many other areas in banking, in economics that, of course, you have the foundation, once you've done that program, that you can pursue other careers linked with 
with the program. Okay, so I encourage you to join the SALCC family and apply. And I thank you for your attention. So, Alpha Lewis Community College, apply today and fast track your career.